Hi, today I have another population genetics video for you. This is not the first problem that I show how to solve using uh, the Hardy-Weinberg formula, but I strongly believe that the more problems you solve, analogous problems uh, that is better for you, like in Russian proverb, uh, repetition is a mother of learning. So, uh, today's problem is in population of pea plants, the frequency of the red flower color allele is 0 0.7 and the frequency of the white flower color allele is 0 0.3. What is the probability that a pea plant will have a red flowers, white flowers? And as I said, in order to solve this problem, we are going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula. And in this formula, we have uh, P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equal to 1 and 1 equal to 100% and uh, P plus Q equal to 1. So let me explain this formula. Here for the P squared uh, we have uh, homozygous dominant condition. For example, if uh, flower color allele that is red, we can put capital R, capital R here. So this is going to be uh, homozygous dominant condition. And uh, second, uh, we have 2PQ. So we can uh, say that this is um, capital R and small r, so small r would stand for the white color and q squared here we would have homozygous uh, recessive condition, so small r, small r, so this is going to be white colored plant and um, we, all, we also told that uh, red flower color allele frequency is 0 0.7 so uh, and uh, white color allele is 0 0.3 so we can say that um, if uh, p would be 0 0.7 and q is equal to 0 0.3, so we can find then q squared. This is very easy. So q squared would be 0 0.3 squared. And this is going to be 0 0.09 and p squared that we need for this part of the formula would be also easy to find. This is going to be p squared that would equal to uh, 0 0.7 squared and this is going to be 0 0.49. So we already have this allele's frequencies and this is going to be 0 0.49 here and 0 0.09 here. And now we have to solve for this middle part of the formula and this is also very easy. We have to multiply 2 by P and Q. So we have to multiply 2 by 0 0.7 and by 0 0.3. So if we multiply 0 0.7 by 0 0.3, we are going to get 0 0.21 and multiply it by uh, uh, 2, this is going to be 0 0.42. So this is going to be frequency of the heterozygous. So this is going to be 0 0.42. And let me repeat the question. What is the probability that pea plant will have red flowers and white flowers? So these two genotypes here would equal to one phenotype that is uh, going to be red flowers. So this is plus here. And uh, this genotype here would equal to white flowers. So as you see, this is homozygous dominant. Of course, this is going to be red flowers. 
and here is a heterozygous and this is simple Mendelian genetics where we have one uh, allele that is dominant, completely dominant over another one that is recessive so both these uh, genetics uh, frequencies would equal to uh, red flower color and here we have 0 0.49 and 0 0.42 so together this is going to be 91% and this is also easy to find because uh, in order to tell the answer as a percentage we just have to move uh, this comma to decimal places to the right so we would have here 49 percent because as you see one equal to 100 percent so 0 0.49 would equal we have to multiply by 100 this is going to be 49 percent and here we also move two decimal places to the right or we have to multiply by 100 this is going to be 42 percent so together this is would be uh, 91 percent and this is going to be 9%. So this is our answer. So we would have 91% uh, red flowers and we would have 9% white flowers. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Uh, please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.